There's a language barrier. I know nobody knows Canada here. So what you have understood about this movie? Because we have made for a cause. I've not given a conclusion or a climax in this movie. Uh, I have kept it open because it's a wound. It's a wound which has in you know, every woman in this society. Okay, what privileges a man have in the society? That same privileges a woman don't have when it comes to a theme called marriage. So I just wanted to know whether this theme did reach you people. I can see more men here. I know. So I just wanted to know whether they are reached. Do you know Hindi? Little bit. Ah, समझ में आता है. I I speak very broken Hindi. Okay. Okay. आप women's की जो बात कर रहे हो तो you know the name of that lady who started the first ladies education in India. अच्छा यू डू नो दी सरस्वती माता सरस्वती अच्छा विद्या की देवी और मींस यू नो दी विद्या की देवी सरस्वती बट यू डोंट नो दी फर्स्ट लेडी हु स्टार्टेड फीमेल एजुकेशन इन इंडिया द नेम इज सावित्री बाई फुले ओके मींस आई वांट टू टेल दैट कि जब भी वुमन एम्पावरमेंट की बात होती है वुमेंस की बात होती है तो ये हमारे लिए बहुत अच्छी बात है कि फीमेल फीमेल मेकर्स को रिसर्च सामने आ रहा है क्योंकि फीमेल्स आज तक बहुत ही पीछे रखा था हमारे भारतीय समाज में उनको लेकिन जब फीमेल ऐसी चीज़ें करती हैं तो मुझे लगता है उनको उन लोगों को याद करना बहुत ज़रूरी है जिन्होंने ये रेवोल्यूशन स्टार्ट किया है है ना आई 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 थिंक लाइक दैट जरूर नहीं कि मैं सही हो सकता हूँ गलत भी हो सकता हूँ है ना क्योंकि मुझे ऐसा लगता है तो आपके आने वाले टाइम में क्या सब्जेक्ट हमारे देखने मिलेगी? I don't know. I want to focus on children next. Children. Kids. Like parenting is most important thing in everyone's life. See, actually I'm an advocate. So I see more criminals and all around me. I'm a criminal advocate. So when I speak with few people, what makes them do such acts? They always have a background. Like not everyone are habitual man. Not everyone are like rowdy gundas and that background family. There are few people who on a what I can say heat of a moment, like some rubbings between friends sometimes goes to cause of death to that extent. But what makes him go to that extent? Yeah, that matters a lot. What mental trauma he might have gone? What triggered him to be like that? Many keep a label called bipolar disorder. He has he has mental issues that this and all. But if you just go back to the background of that person, maybe he might have got a very bad parenting. Parents would have fought in front of him always. He might have seen the violence, so he thought, okay, let me be violent so I can be safe. Mm -hmm. That might have his message. I've met few people of that, mm -hmm. so maybe I want to focus on children next mm -hmm. because parents nowadays they are very busy in uh, their own making money. I, of course, I know right. for their kids only. They're no, you're hundred percent right. Hundred percent right because from the last six to seven years, uh, uh, our festival is also <coughs> working on the children's society. Uh, Everybody, I mean, lots of people don't know that the every year in India more than four thousand children commit suicides. And they're so much addicted to uh, gadgets that mm. just because of the gadgets, they are getting awarded with society social things. Mm. They don't get come social. They can't come and talk here. They can't if you just ask them to talk about themselves. They can't talk mm. uh, because they're into like into mobile phones, into videos which they see mm. that affects their mental. But before parenting was not like that. 
So we want to focus on that, but before that, I want to focus on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we want to keep some gap mm -hmm. uh, for our next project. It's our pleasure that the producer mm -hmm. like that. If you are uh, planning to uh, produce the movie on Cheetahs, so we also associate yeah, with you sure. as a producer to make the huge success. As a publicity partner, as a uh, financial partner, we are all interested for Indian Panorama. It is developed one section for the children. The producers who want to make movies on children problems. So we are also ready to associate with you. It's our pleasure. I would like to say one more thing. For me to stand here, the movie what was speaking. <coughs> See, uh, those questions which she was asking, you people might have felt she is very rude. You might have felt she could have little bit calmed down and she could have said in a different way. But uh, there is one line in that movie. Many people have come and seen her and have gone back. That time she was polite. She has swallowed a lot. She is 30 year old. She has swallowed a lot. She has seen like hundreds of men already. Maybe uh, she's okay with a uh, less than educated person or less salary guy, okay, but she wants a life partner, not just a namesake husband. That she, she's searching for. And the second guy, which I say, Jati Adrim Saku, Koti Adru Parvadila. That means, Koti means monkey, okay, Jati means caste. So if he's a monkey, he's also fine. He has to be in the caste. This is what our parents say. That guy is uneducated. He just sees, oh, she's beautiful, she's sexy, oh, I can go. Mm -hmm. But her parent is not thinking that, okay, he is not a perfect match to my daughter. Oh, he's in the same class, okay, done, go, go ahead, get married, get kids. And the third guy says, I give you full freedom, but after baby, you should not work. What does that mean? Earning. Both the side, okay, I will also share some part with you. Like that, some conversation would have happened. Mm. Instead of that, he says straight away, then I'll give you full freedom, but till the baby. So, those things, I don't think so. Uh, girl has to swallow. See, uh, many people uh, like come, they do virginity tests for women. Mm. And uh, they ask like uh, whether you can sing, whether you can dance, whether you do cooking, whether you do house. Okay, man, you uh, hire a maid. You can employ a person who is in needy. Mm -hmm. Why do you want your wife to be a maid? Mm -hmm. You can also come and cook. You can also share, right, ma'am? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is what the message is. Mm -hmm. We have shown in a little fictitious, like fiction, like to attract people so that they can talk on it. Because if I show it like as he, as he is, people might not talk about it. But if I show it like this, they will trigger it at least in something they talk. Good, bad, ugly, whatever it is, they try to talk. It's a wound basically. I've opened it. So I have not given a conclusion. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I ask anyone like uh, any questions you have about it? Yeah, please. What about uh, the subject? I am not, uh, not uh, related to the social subject. I need to know that why did you choose a non-linear path for the script? Sorry, sorry? Uh, the script you have used for the film is non-linear. It's not in order. It's like, you know, that uh, the three rooms coming in at the same time, but it's not happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose the non-linear subject? Uh, see, basically, it's a talking more in the script. Yeah. If I show it like normal, as is, like one boy comes, all the conversation does, second boy comes. If I do that, it would be very boring. Yeah. For the audience, they'll be like, oh, what's going on? So, uh, as you're saying that, you were saying that the old dialogue that the woman told was only for the one man? No, no, no. You, you I have mixed all the questions because all the men asked her the same things. Oh. Here, she's asking back the men. See, when a man asks a question, like, are you a virgin, are you having boyfriend, that, this, blah, 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 it's okay. Answer, no. Yeah. Parents also stand, hey, answer. What is that? What did he ask? But if the women ask the same question, he gets up, he gets so angry, he makes his parents run out. Yeah. And uh, third boy, he's so educated, he's so open-minded and whatever, he says, he gives freedom, but 
when it comes that she had a boyfriend as if he don't have as if he has not seen any women he wakes up and he just walks away uh, i don't think so so all the question i can't keep showing each and every boy asking or each and every uh, situation so we have mixed it so that little comic so that people won't get bored more than that it should not sound like a serial that's the thing aur koi ye sawal puchna chahta hai bahut acha mauka hai bahut acche se jawab de rahe hai bahut sari cheeze pata chal rahi hai aapke dimag mein to sawal hamesha rehta hai isliye sir aapka sawal puchna bahut zaruri hai sir ye to mind blowing tha matlab mere ko shabd hi nahi kya bolu main to bahut hi acha thank you so much aur bahut hi aur aapne itne gehra topic topic utha hai is case ke upar matlab ye bahut hi great hai actually this is our first film it's my first movie and the entire team's first movie and i would say i have got a very uh, great husband he's making me standing here but he's a part of producer he wants me to be face of the film mm -hmm. so he said put producer acts only your name mm -hmm. actually even he is a producer <laughs> okay okay he's a musician he's a flautist he has done the music part we have a recording so studio also Uh, you are Papa son uh, Ellen Dillo. Yeah. Who is the father of Dillo? Papa Dillo. Doctor B R Ambedkar. Means to me, he is not father Bihar. of law. He has written the constitution. He is one of the person who has written the constitution. He he is not one of the person uh, who has written the constitution because when the constitution committee was made, it was very few people who knew. Good, you have taken the topic. What happens is that वन ऑफ द पर्सन जब ये कमेटी बनाई गई जब कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कमेटी बनाई गई तो भारत का संविधान लिखना था क्योंकि जब ब्रिटिश लोग जा रहे थे तो उनके लिए बहुत जरूरी था कि आप इस देश को चलाओगे कैसे कभी तभी लगभग थर्टी थ्री करोड़ की आबादी थी और हमारे भारत देश में छः हजार चार सौ जातियाँ हैं ठीक है तो इस, इसको ऑपरेट कैसे किया जाएगा तो फिर उसके लिए ये जिम्मेदारी के लिए एक टीम बनाएगी कमेटी बनाएगी और उस कमेटी का प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर बी आर अम्बेडकर को बनाया गया लेकिन जब उसके ऊपर हर एक बंदा जब उसके ऊपर स्टडी करा था तो एक 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 करके उसमें से चार लोग मर गए हार्ट अटैक आके और उसके बाद में कुछ लोगों ने बैकफुट ले लिया बैकफुट इसलिए लिया कि यहाँ पे बहुत सारी जातियां हैं बहुत सारे वर्ग हैं और सबसे बड़ी बात जब वो दिखना शुरू किया था तभी वुमन्स को इक्वली फ्रीडम नहीं था इक्वली फ्रीडम नहीं था इसके लिए फिर उसके बाद में जब लोगों ने बैकफुट लिया तो फिर डॉक्टर बीर अम्बेडकर अकेले हो गए फिर अकेले होने के बाद में उन्होंने अकेले ने दो साल ग्यारह महीने में उस संविधान को वन मैन शो कम्प्लीट किया जिसका जो मसूदा है जो लॉ जो अमेंडमेंट जो मेन बेस है उसको लिखने में बी एन राव ने उनकी मदद की इसकी पूरी कहानी इस तरीके से है और उन्होंने संविधानिक रूप से संविधानिक रूप से उसके अंदर औरतों को आज़ादी दी और आरक्षण दिया तो ये जो आरक्षण है फीमेल्स को जो फ्रीडम कि आप यहाँ पर फेडरल के बात कर पा रहे हो तो ये तीन लॉ में इसको बाइंड किया हुआ है संविधान को ये 308 इसलिए है क्योंकि फीमेल्स की जो ओरिजिनल जंग है जो ओरिजिनल जो फ्रीडम है वहाँ से लगभग 300 साल पहले महात्मा ज्योति और ने शुरू किया था और उनके बंगले का नंबर था 308 ये उसकी पूरी जर्नी है है ना और उनके साथ में ये थी फातिमा बेग तो दोस्तों फातिमा बेग सावित्रा फुले और महात्मा ज्योति फुले के एक बार तालिया हो